हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू अनदर इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो ऑन आवर बिहेवियर चैनल सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द फ्यूचर प्रोसेस फ्लोस रिक्वायर्ड टू कंप्लीट दिस फ्लो इन अ प्रोडक्शन लाइन राइट सो इफ यू हैवेंट वॉच्ड आवर वीडियो वन वेयर वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अ लॉजिक क्रिएशन फॉर यू नो इन्वेंट्री रेप्लेनिशमेंट एंड क्रिएटिंग इनिशियल इन्वेंट्री do watch it we have it on our youtube channel video 1 for replenishment of inventory now this is basically video 2 for the same model okay where we are going to learn about how is basically the parts been transferred by the operator to this buffer using process flow okay so if you could look at this is a very simple process the process before this robot we have already understood in our video 1 so now we are going to understand after this so the robot basically puts in the part you know onto this processor and then the parts are transferred to the next processor and then this process goes on ahead and ahead okay so the robots are helping them to transfer the parts onto subsequent processors and then these parts go to this blue color station which is separator and where the parts are splitted into two parts okay so this is all about the process before this conveyor right so now let us understand how a single part is split into two okay we already have a detailed videos available on our youtube channel okay for all these objects we have already explained we have a series on process flow we have series on statistics and dashboards you can explore that for a detailed understanding for each of the equipments used in flexim simulation model building If you haven't visited our website beaverchannel.com do visit our website beaverchannel.com for interesting yet exciting you know educational content blogs health related stuffs industrial engineering and lot so do not forget to explore our website beaverchannel.com okay so now let us open the properties for the separator okay i'll just stop this model and let us double click this and hopefully it has to be opened okay and if you could look at the properties of the separator you would be able to see that the uh, separator has its own tab in here okay where you can unpack and split so where here we have used split and we have used a quantity of two so a single part gets split it up into two parts right now if you could look at these two process flows are basically identical so let us now understand how this process flow was created in order to you know transfer the parts from this conveyor to this buffer okay so if you could look at i'll just move this box around and if you go in here we have a control point here okay this is a decision point which is on a conveyor so what we have done in a process flow is we have selected this as you know source uh basically these types of event triggered source this means that whenever we are going to have a part on arrived on this decision point we are going to create a token and that token we are going to label it as item and we have assigned it okay when you go in the custom code what we are doing is basically we are stopping an item okay so if you click on this you might also get the statistics of the token so the item is the box on a conveyor 2 task sequences for the operator 1 and task executor is the operator 1 okay if you could look at so the token has a lot of informations which it carries uh, down the flow which you you can use for analysis so first if you see i am using token dot item which i already assigned here as item at the source right so what we are doing is when the object come on the decision point it has to be stopped once it is stopping we are creating a task sequence using this operator right the priority we are setting it as zero preemption as no preempt okay such uh you know uh, advancement is not required here as we just need to lo uh, load and then we unload okay so we are uh, uh, allocating you know the state for the operator when it is waiting for of an state okay allocated idle then we are assigning it to token dot task sequence and then we dispatch and wait with this as the details 
Now when we go to the travel right, we are going to use the task sequence we already created here. So token dot task sequence because this task sequence has a details of what operator it has to be, what priorities had it has to be, what state it has to assign, right? So it itself is a you know series of activities which you just type in here token dot task sequence. The exit transfer is nothing but the destination where this operator is going to transfer. This white color strip is exit transfer. When the object uh, operator travels in there, he is going to load okay the item token dot item, and then it is basically going to you know uh, station it out as station item container. Okay, so basically it has to specify three things: what object from which station it has to load and who is going to load it okay so the loading thing is task sequence from where it is like the item container okay this is basically you know the dp1 from where it has to you know pull in up then when we go to the travel it has to again go back to the queue in there right and once it go back to the queue it has to unload that so here is where we are going to have the next task where we are going to tell that to unload and then once it unloads we are going to finish that started task sequence similar process flow is there on this another side right where if you could look i'll just run the model and you could see that the tokens get generated whenever a part arrives at that then the you know these people travel in here and then these people travel into the another buffers in here okay where they are basically going to unload the part onto the queue so this is basically how you know the things are going to get uh, converted using the process flow this is how the operations takes place uh, for the logic building and flexum simulation modeling right so we have understood about picking parts for the conveyors by the operators if you have any queries let us know in the comment section or you can also reach us out on our website uh, using contact us page or you can mail us on be our channel yd at the gmail.com if you haven't you know like the video please do like our videos do not forget to comment our videos and share it with your friends because it really helps us to reach larger audiences and do not forget to subscribe to our behavior channel because we are going to bring a lot of exciting content related to education and we have a vision to be you know the top most educational college uh, you know content creator youtube channel in world so help us be the you know the top most educational content creator youtube channel will need your support into that so basically here we are we are transferring the parts from the conveyor onto the queue and then if we are going to talk about you know to transport uh, to the warehouse here is its process flow now let us understand how this forklift you know is batching up and then it is transferring to the rack and how that logic needs to be you know created now let us see whenever we are going to get a part okay and read in this queue we has to get you know the token and if you see 19 tokens i have already got where i am telling it to batch for 20 you know parts so once i get 20 this token will move down you know just look at that and then it has started to travel to the queue then it will run a subflow for loading you know then it will travel to the rack and then again it will run a subflow for unloading and this is how the process goes now let us uh, go and deep dive into you know the uh, details of the codes been used now basically in a process flow when you need to you know find a slot for where you are going to put in that you need to use this code as find slot so we are uh, you know finding a slot uh, we can find out any slot okay there are different options in here okay so basically we are just querying out this and then if you could look at we are going to assign the token dot slot and we are going to assign slot to item as token dot item okay now if i want to check the details so the item is going to be basically the part on the queue which we get from the token assigned from the source and the slot is basically for this you know the queue so this is how it goes okay so now what we are going to do is uh, we are going to find a slot available from the rack then we are going to batch it okay so we are supposed to uh, you know assign a batch quantity of 20 okay so what we are going to do is we are going to combine 20 and we are going to take one of the token out 
what we are going to do here we are going to transfer the label from one item to the item which is going to be created we are going to make a array of those okay all the details which we are going to have under the part okay or the you say token now when we talk on to this we come to acquire where acquire we are going to acquire you know the transporter uh, whichever for uh, the transporter to for the another uh, queue and the transporter we have another acquire right so we are going to assign a forklift which is going to lift it we are going to assign a quantity then we are going to assign it to the label so the label we are just putting in which is named as token the transporter 2 okay here you can see that now when we go into the another thing uh, we are going to tell him like the token to transporter that is the task executor forklift will transfer to the will travel to the q15 then we are going to run a subflow okay running subflow is equal to the token dot items dot length okay so you know the 20 thing which we bashed in we are going to basically you know uh, run that many subflows so that is where we comes in here where we are going to tell this subflow you know if you see it is connected to this rough subflow where we are going to load 20 times okay loading is similar item token dot item station item container and then executor is token dot transporter 2 then when we go to the travels right we are going to tell the forklift to travel to this rack okay once it is going to travel to the lag then we are again going to run a subflow where we have already seen this token dot item creation in our previous you know video one then we are going to put in a delay of five seconds where this uh, you know forklift will go to the rack and wait for some time before it is unloading and then when it will unload onto the rack okay the items and the transporter will be token dot transporter 2 once it has unloaded it will release on okay, the acquired transporter so that the next new the transporter can be acquired by another task sequence so we need to release when we acquire and then we are going to send it to this thing so basically this is the uh, you know the logic required in order to create a process flow when you need to transfer the part from the queue to the rack using forklift and batch them in certain quantity as per your requirement of the factory so this is all about you know we have learned in today's video about how to pick a part how to split a part and how to transfer the part from the conveyor to the queue and we have learned about how to create a process flow for transferring the parts using uh, forklift to the rack in a certain batch size so let us know how this video was for you uh, your views and comments are very precious for us and important for us let us know your views we are happy to receive your feedback so that it helps us for improvement let us know if you want any uh, you know uh, videos on certain specific topics in a comment section so we will definitely work on it and bring such videos which you need okay so we're working on this and let us meet in another interesting video on our be aware channel till then keep visiting our website beaverechannel.com and our youtube channel you know be aware thanks for watching and stay tuned